Hello everyone. 안녕하세요. Welcome to Unlab Korean class. I've been running a Korean language academy for a long time. And these days, I'm offering online classes for people who is living in Korea and abroad. And today, I'm opening an online channel. Through this course, you will get to the point where not only can you use some useful expressions, but also get the ability to expand the Korean by yourself. For this, I will start with the alphabet, and then I will focus on all four skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. I will do my best to make you enjoy learning Korean. Before the class, it would be helpful to check the category of Korean character belongs to. And let's think about the syllable structure of English first. Here, consonant B meet vowel A makes ba. So English makes syllables by combining consonant and vowels. Like English, Korean syllables also need consonants and vowels. The two languages are completely different. I mean language. But the principle of making syllables and words are very similar. So today we are going to talk about consonants first, especially 14 basic consonants. Okay, let's get started to meet 578 years old writing system for the Korean language. Are you ready? I have a quick question. If you were in a project to make a new alphabet, how would you make it? Do you have any good idea? Me? Sorry. I don't come up with any ideas. However, the great King Sejong, who created the Korean alphabet, made a consonant formed after the voice organs. Voice organs? What are they? They are organs used to make speech, such as lips, teeth, jaw, tongue, hard palate, soft palate, uvula, vocal cord, etc. Among them, Korean letters were created after the shape of the lips, teeth, tongue, and throat. Now let's look at the interesting process of transforming the shape of these voice organs into letters. Let's take a look at this. Can you guess which organ this letter imitates. What does it look like? Lips, teeth, tongue? The answer is tongue root. When you make a sound, k, k, do you know how your tongue root works? It is very hard to describe, I know. But science is showing it us clearly. Let's look at the left first. Can you find where the tongue root is? Yes, here. And this is soft palate, and this is uvula. So they are down and relaxing. However, as soon as you make the sound g, g, so the tongue root is rising rising up like here, like this, and then block the throat. And even the soft palate and the uvula is rising up like this. So the letter G came from here, tongue root. In this way, the letter G created after the shape of the tongue root. Now let's find the sister of G. I mean, 
In English alphabet, is there any letter pronounced with the tongue root rising like a G? A, B, C, D. Yes, there is a K. K and K. Can you feel both sounds came from the back part? I mean the tongue root. Now let's think about the letter. To indicate k, we need one more stroke here in red. So adding strokes means one small line has its feature to distinguish one from the others. So when you add one more stroke, the sound gets stronger. K and k. Now let's talk about n. N, the second base consonant. When you say n, where is your tongue tip? N, n, n. Yes, it touches the back of the upper teeth, like this. So, n is formed after the shape of the raised tongue tip. Now, can you find the sister of n in English? Again, A, B, C. D. Yes, there is D, T, and L. So those three letters just touch the back side of the upper teeth. You can check yourself. I mean, stop this video and try to write the letters while adding strokes. It will be fun. Here they are. You did? We can make these three letters by adding strokes to the base form n. Let me show you. And I will write full n. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and I will add one stroke. Makes t. Two and two strokes. One and two. Two, two, and then three strokes. One and two and three. Make l, l. So here, the important point is all four consonants still contain the base letter n. At their bottom. So the n is here and here and here. So when you say them, your tongue should always touch the same place behind the upper teeth. Could you repeat after me? N, t, t, l. Good job. It's cool, right? Uh, indeed, the last L is a variant. I mean, the sound of L does not get stronger though it was made by adding strokes. But I think in KFL and Korean as a foreign language class, it would be good to study here together. Now let's think about your lips. King Sejong shaped the people's lips as a square and made the letter M, the third base consonant. It's easy to memorize. So, can you find the sisters of M? Yes, there are B and P. B is added vertical strokes. And P is added horizontal strokes. What you need to remember is there are still M in those letters here and here. So you can easily catch the sound when you see the square. M, P, P. 
could came from your lips. Let's talk about the teeth. The first base consonant. So the letter S formed after the upper teeth and the lower teeth. Yes, of course, it has two sisters, T and T. Let me show you the process. I will write three S, one and two and three. And I will add one stroke. Makes T, T. And then two strokes, one and two, make ch, ch. Unfortunately, these three sounds are very similar, so it's hard to distinguish. I will show you some English words to help your understanding. S in smile and smart. Ch in juice, jump, ch in children, and channel. Could you repeat after me? S, j, ch. Great. 잘 했어요. This is the last base consonant. Letter N formed after the shave of the open throat. I'm sure your throat looks like a hole when it opens. Usually the sound N can be found in the English progressive tense, such as playing, watching, studying. You can make her sister H by adding two more strokes. N, H. Anyway, I think you have a question at this point. Do you have? If you follow the rule, you can easily infer the letter with the one stroke. Now you can make it by yourself. Try. Yes, here it is with one stroke. And, but these days we don't use it anymore. As you know, in the world, there are various ways to express the onomatopoeia for laughter, ha ha ha, in letters. In Korea, we use he he and kk. So far, we have checked all 14 basic consonants. Now let's check and practice all of them. Could you repeat after me? Thinking the principle. Okay. Ku. K, n, d, t, l, m, b, p, s, j, ch, n, h, g. Now you know the principle of consonant generation. First, the letters are formed after the shave of the voice organs. This picture shows that five basic consonants are shaped after where they are pronounced. G, N, M, S, N. Second, the five basic consonants, g, n, m, s, n, are the basis for creating the other nine derived consonants by adding strokes. Today we studied the 14 basic consonants. I hope you enjoyed the first class. It's not that much difficult, right? People say Korean language is pretty difficult for English speakers. It's true, but learning letters is not that much, and even easy.
Next time, I will give you some useful tips about consonants for your confidence. Have a nice day. 안녕히 계세요.